do 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 Yes. Hmm. Well, for the last couple of days, I mean, it is Wednesday, Wednesday morning. It's the 19th of uh, September. Yes, and I have tried with a hit and miss to do um, a little bit of a vlog with you lost and have a chat on the Monday. That failed. So much stopped me from what I was doing halfway through. And once, obviously, because it's with the phone, you can't just carry on from where you left off. Unfortunately, you can't do it that way. I know that Android does it, where you can just pause the video, yeah, you're recording, and then you can carry on, whereas the iPhone, as far as I know, don't do that. So, whatever. And then I tried again yesterday, which yesterday was hilarious. Right? You know, imagine a Ben Hill episode, right? Which included driving and parking trucks and that was what it was like at Northampton services yesterday it was absolutely incredible I have never seen the most array of collection of shit driving ever in one small place <laughs> oh man. unbelievable I think out of all the people that came in and went out that could actually reverse with some sort of skill if you like making it look you know easy part of their job I think they had one out of ten and the one the one guy that came in Eddie Starbart driver right in his Eddie Starbart truck so I mean I don't know if anybody knows what uh, the services looks like at um, what's it Northampton southbound it's not exactly the biggest lorry park is it it's a bit pokey to be fair so I can I can understand that yes fine but there is plenty of room if you pull into it if there's nothing to do you can spin around and fuck off back out right, there's always plenty of room for that anyway <laughs> this starboard driver came in right he drove down and he tried to back on this side, but he, he spun it around. He tried it, they like it obviously, so then he, he fanned about a bit more by manoeuvring around in this tiny area. Tried another one, they like that, so then he fucked off, must have turned around at the island at the top of the, uh, the yard area. And uh, he come back in again, he tried again, and I'm like... <laughs> The way that this guy was positioning, I mean, obviously, he's, the way I could see it, he must have been literally out of driver school training. Right? He's just that second, that day, passed his test. Because that's the only explanation I've got for how atrocious he was. I was going to jump out and offer my assistance, but I was talking to my sister at the, at the time, right, because she'd found me up, so I couldn't do it. And um, But I just sat there, and I'm like, this is unreal, this is. Then, obviously, his last attempt, he was trying to back into a spot, which is up, sort of like on the opposite side of where I was parked, a little bit further down. But this parking spot, um, it wasn't small. It wasn't a tight squeeze like you can get some of them. Like, you know, this was ample space. I'd say there was, it was at least a truck and a half width Right, so that's plenty of room. I mean, shitload of room. And he still managed to take a mirror out on a truck. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm like, fucking hell, this is unreal, this is. Absolutely unbelievable. I can't, I just can't, I can't do it. I just can't imagine how these people get on. I mean, yes, I understand there's a learning curve. But my advice to people who struggle out, don't just go at it like a bull at a gate. Get out your truck. There's a fucking shitload of drivers around. And go, uh, excuse me, mate, could you give me a fucking hand? I'm new at this. And I'm telling you now, you'll have fucking multiple drivers jumping. Yeah, no worries, dude. Don't just try and fucking do it yourself. If you struggle your nuts off, get off your arse. Go ask. Asking doesn't mean that you're a weaker person. It means you're a fucking smart person, knowing your limitations. But fuck me, 
honestly. I wish I'd have been able to catch it all on video, but I just couldn't because I was talking to my sister. I was fucking like, oh man, this is just... It'd have been the type of uh, video where you could have actually had a drone and hover across the top of it, and it would have been fucking awesome. <laughs> oh dear. And here's me sitting here, and I was expecting them to tip me at uh, eight o'clock, and it's half seven. They started to tip me already. That's good. Uh, give me a sec. I'm going to hand this to him because he's, he's all mad. So they got four pallets. Don't want that yet. He says he's just going to take them off for me, just to put them inside. He says, and as soon as they, the staff comes in, they can sign your paperwork for you. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Seems a bit odd, but so yes. I mean, um, <laughs> the last uh, couple of days I've, I've tried to. I mean, it's like now with him doing this, it's a, it's a bit of a hit and miss. And he always thought, ah. Oh, I'm interrupted again. Fuck, what can I do? <laughs> when well, he's all right, he says, now it's fine. Just sit there, chill. And I'll come out and sign your paperwork when I've checked it. I'm just taking it off for you. Okay. See? Because there is only four pallets. It's as if I've got a, a mountain of stuff to take off. If it was a full load, it would have probably been a different uh, scenario. But, yeah. But uh, yesterday, I had to get back because I needed to go to the doctors, right? And I was, I asked in the morning, I said, look, I need to be finished by four o'clock. And um, with the hassle of going down to Northampton services, time was getting a bit close. But because I was, I was driving this bad boy, this one is there, uh, is actually, it does, 55-ish, 56, I think, 55, 56. So, you know, that to me is what you want when you gotta get shit done. So, um, I had a fighting chance, even though the guy I was trailer changing at Northampton Services, one of our drivers, he pulls in, right, because where I'm parked, to my right, there's the entrance, right? I'm a couple of trucks down, but what's parked next to me as I've parked? Um, a wagon and drag turned up and shoved himself there. Well, a wagon and drag, in their natural state, a full-size one, they're actually at the limit of 60 foot. And of course, his unit was sticking out further than what mine was. And, um, so our driver come in and instead of actually driving in to the uh, the parking area knowing yes it is busy and there's a it's there's fuck all there he spun around the top right and then fucked off and i'm like where the fuck is he going so i'm on the phone then finding out what's he doing this is we don't know so, oh, for fuck's sake so another half an hour i think or just over i had to wait for him to come back and when i said to mrs Where'd you go? He says, there was nobody here. I says, mate, I've been here for an hour and a half. I watched you turn around at the top of the fucking yard and fuck off. Oh, man. I said, if you'd have just drove down past me, you could have dropped the trailer there in front of every fucker, disconnected that. I could have pulled out, got underneath it, spun it round and fucked off. I mean, that'd have been it. I'd have been on my fucking way home. Fortunately, though, um, even though that was a bit of a delay, I still managed to get back with plenty of time to get myself off to the doctors. Nice. Uh, I've had myself checked to a point, and um, he says, because I told him about my, me, um, I got the sinus infection again, and it's fucking nasty. I had it on this side a few months ago, and now I've got it this side now. It, it feels like you have an abscess in your, in your in your face, like with your nose, and it's it's just this horrible taste and smell. It's fucking awful here. And he says that's a virus. He says that'll clear on its own. I'm like, oh, what it got now? You know what I mean? It's fucking, it's annoying as shit because it, 
it just keeps dribbling in the back of your throat or builds up in your throat. It's just not nice at all. It's nasty. Um, he asked me different things. I told him the way I'm feeling and the the and what have you, and the fact that I feel dizzy sometimes, and it's just, it just makes me all feel sick. And I and I explained when it's uh, when I have got this idea of when it actually started. It was about a week before I went for my tattoo. When I had my tattoo done, the symptoms sort of dissipated, but on the way back, I started feeling shit again, like, you know, and I had something to drink and eat, it goes away. And uh, I says to him, if I'm distracted, like I'm doing now, I don't feel any kind of problem at all, but I can feel that. It just feels like, really, like, psychedelic. It's dead cool, but fucking scary at the same time. So I've got to have my bloods done tomorrow, so I've got to sort of, like, have a break halfway through my day, and then go off and get my blood drawn again. I said, well, I had them done last month. I said, oh, we'll do them again. Okay, no problem. And uh, he says, it's a possibility that you may, may. He says, I've got, said, do you have any trouble swallowing? I says, mm, no, not really. I says, I had a sore throat for three weeks prior to all this crap. And he says, uh, all right, so you have no difficulty swallowing? I said, well, not that I know to. I don't find it hard to swallow, no. But as I'm done today, this morning, I'm thinking to myself, but the thing is, though, I had I had this broken, right, but, uh, 20 odd years ago. So my all this here fucking rides across my uh, fucking neck bone. You can think of crunch, 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 and it clicks and fucking, it, oh, it's a pain in the arse. So I don't really know if I am supposed to swallow the way I swallow, you know what I mean? Anywho, um, so he's going to... Um, Take me bloods tomorrow. Well, the nurse will. And then he says, You've had the lancer bars. How often have you been taking lancer bars? I said, Well, I had it every day, but I haven't had none for a few days. Like he said, Well, for two weeks, don't have it at all. And then you need to go and do that. What's that? Shit and stick. Oh, okay. There's an image for you. <laughs> Still, samples got to come next. I'm like, but I've got to wait two weeks, apparently. Uh, Lanzop, Lanzoprazzle, or Lanzoprazzle, or whatever the fuck they, they pronounce, I'll call it Lanzoprazzle, because that's the way it looks said to me, so anyway. Um, it takes, it must take at least two weeks for it to come out of your system. So, that's a bit concerning, realistically. Anyway, so I've got to get that sorted in a fortnight, so well, I've, I've I haven't had nothing this week, so I can class this week, next week, and then the following Monday, and sort that out. But I hope this shit fucking sorts itself out. But he, I told him about the day uh, the other day when I was stood in the queue waiting to get the paperwork at uh, Unilever, and I am literally fucking sweating from head to toe. So he checks to see if I got any temperature or anything. He says, "Well, you ain't got any temperatures." He says, "He stuck that thing in my ear hole," and he went, "No, that's good, that's fine." He had a look in my ear to see if I've got any kind of uh, infections or virus. And he says, you have got some fluid in there. He says, so that could be because of all that. So he says, well, and it's like, well, it's a virus. It'll clear on its own. I'm like, well, haven't you got something that can help it fuck off? You know what I mean? Because it is getting a little bit annoying. But now, obviously, I've got to leave. Let me body do the work. Ah. <sighs> I just feel like everything's falling apart. And then, as soft as it sounds, right, last year, this is it where I, I turned down to. <laughs> oh, fucking, it's awful. It smells like shit up your nose. Oh, it's fucking nasty. Yeah. Anyway, um, last year, I think it was around about November time. I come down with this. Honestly, I mean, it was the. It was like the fucking, the mutant death ray of all fucking flus. It was right. I have had. Don't get me wrong. I've had flus to the years, and uh, uh, normally you get a bit of an headache, snotty nose, and it lasts for let's say two days max. On the third day, right as rain. Not a bother, right? But this fucking thing, I have never known anything like it in my life. 
<clears throat> it, this is what caused, I think, um, a bit of a sinus infection that and then. I'm sure it might have been then. And if it was, that was like November, so it was a few months more than I thought. Oh well. Anyway, so um, I think it was actually, you know. Or was it not? Or did I have it the next time? Because I know. I'm, either way, who gives a crap, right? It don't matter. It's not important. But I had this, this thing, right? And it was in November time. And I, it knocked me for six. It really did. And um, I had a constant flow of snot, right? It started sort of like, it crept in on the Thursday, right? Sort of like through the Thursday. Friday, it was, yeah, but it was, I'm starting to feel the, the stress of it now. Because all of us, and as the day progressed, this is when the snot come, right? This was like called the snot monster from hell, right? Honestly, it just dripped, 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 not from the front only. It just kept on coming out, the, dropping down the back of my throat as well. And it was, oh man, I have never known anything like it. And I'm, I must have gotten through at least four reels of bog roll that weekend. And not only did I, because I suffer with cold sores as well. And it's my lips that burst. It doesn't come across the edges of my lips here. It's always the lip itself. And um, instead of just being content of having just the one little uh, thing there, now, both lips, the fucking lot, just went, right? It looked like a baboon's arse, right? Pretty much, right? It's fucking unbelievable. And uh, <laughs> the pain was just... So all through that way, I couldn't go to work because honestly, I looked like somebody had uh, literally put my fucking lips through a mincer. It was fucking horrible. Uh, the following week, I came back to work because it all started to uh, sort of. I think it was the following week anyway. Well, I came back to work, and I think I ended up having to have some more time off the week after because I still didn't feel right. Um, and then the following year. Uh, February time, I had another bout of this fucking wank and um, ended up having a few days off of that. Um, but here's the, 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 the really weird thing about this stupid flu thing I had, right? Ever since that really bad one, the first one round, um, I have had, as of late, a couple of cattle sores, but only fucking minute minuscule versions of what I normally have and all the way through it even when I was feeling ill the other week I didn't get any because normally if I get colds or flus that's when I end up getting fucking cold sores as well I get double whacked in a fucking snotter you know what I mean but for some unknown reason they just didn't turn up and I'm thinking going through all that have I burnt out fucking cold sores and I just ain't going to get them again? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm fucking happy about that if that's the case because they are a fucking pain in the ass. Anybody who gets them, they fucking know it. Oh, I tell you. Mm. Probably not, though. But um, it's like, when is all this shit going to end? When is it going to stop? All right. When am I going to actually feel good about myself again? I'm going to feel, because I, I haven't, ever since that, the November last year, I just really haven't felt 100% like I used to do. It's always felt like slightly off kilter. And now obviously this, as the new flu came, which I had the other week. I will say this, it's, it wasn't as bad. I mean, I felt snotty and felt lousy, but I mean, it was... It was livable, you know what I mean? It was, oh, fucking hell, snot, 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 you know, as usual. But it was nowhere near as as catastrophic as the one the, as the year before, like, you know what I mean? So maybe that massive flu thing I had has given me some sort of immune system to the rest of the, the flus that are coming, like, you know what I mean? Because you do, they do, don't they? They seem to, like, I, I don't know if you've noticed, but they seem to, like, get worse and worse as the years progress. Because the flu virus is forever mutating, it's never the same, it always changes from person to person. You can't isolate the fucking thing. You would have thought, though, um, with the super duper scientific people that we've got, that they'd have a, a way of doing it, you know what I mean? They'd, <laughs> they'd figure it out and go, look, this is it, we've done it! 
No more flus and colds. Take this. I still believe that even in the next fucking 500 years, there'll still be flu viruses and cold viruses. I really do. Unbelievable. Do you know what I reckon they ought to do? Right? This, which would probably help them figure this shit out and maybe come up with a cure for it completely is do some more research with alligator and, cl and crocodile blood right because they are the the oldest uh, living dinosaur aren't they after all you know what i mean they've been around for fucking thousands upon thousands of years <coughs> and their their blood has got um its own antibiotic in it as soft as it sounds Research it, have a look yourself, find out, because there's a, there's a bunch of scientists that actually are studying the fucking stuff because they're thinking, wow, this is cool. Um, that, um, is that, what is it, is it M-A-M-I? No, that does sound, M-A-M-R? That sounds right. No. What's that thing you get from hospitals, that really bad bacteria crap? Anyway. Um, apparently this, the, the crocodile blood goes... And isolates it, really just goes and just grabs out and just sits there and goes right out. You ain't going no fucking way. And literally puts it in a in a locked box. I'm like, that's cool. That is. Is that really how antibiotics actually work? He just finds whatever the crap is and goes right out. You ain't going nowhere. Fuck off. Let's get rid of you. You know what I mean? Because that's what he did. It was like wow. And this shit's supposed to be antibiotic. Um, Tolerant is it? Is that the right word I'm looking for? Because yeah, it seems to like there's no antibiotics that can actually get rid of this shit. But the crocodile's blood went. Eh, fuck off now. Try again, sunshine. Find something a bit stronger because that's just nothing. I'm like, why is not? Why is this not being pressed even further? Like, and this was a few years ago. This was. I mean, I mean, a good few years ago. It does make you wonder, don't it? You know I mean, if something like that is out there in the world and I mean I know obviously it takes a long time to do all this the studies and all the blah 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 the chemical breakdowns and all sorts and what the effects are with humans we all know that but uh, yeah why can't they do something like that hmm yeah well that's my fucking that's me all done I think Mm. So, uh, yeah, only time will tell, I suppose. <coughs> and uh, I'll keep you updated. But I'm hoping I can get rid of this, this fucking bleh in here. Because it does feel wrong. It don't feel right at all. You know what I mean? But, uh, it's like that. Having nothing to eat... Right, I can feel like I'm. Some it feels like there's something there, even though I've not ate anything. I have this morning. I have my cereals, which I've been starting to do just for the time being to try and abate this, which has helped. I must admit. Um, but I just wish it'd stop. I wish it'd now fuck off and leave me alone and let me have a bit of peace for a change. But hey, anyway, I'm gonna go because. Uh, They'll be coming out soon to check the paperwork and what have you. So I'll speak to you a lot later. All right? Have yourself a good day. And uh, I apologise for taking so long. It just didn't, didn't go my way. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. See you later. Bye.